Hi everybody, my name is Richard Obudig and I'll be giving this tutorial regarding the SS2QP function, um, which is a function that enables the transformation of a state space problem, uh, of a state space um, model uh, in conjunction with uh, the appropriate weights uh, into a quadratic programming problem. Now, this is related to uh, model predictive control, where um, we're trying to optimally control a system given uh, a model and some weights. Uh, and this is model is used to predict the uh, behavior of the system uh, over a certain horizon. The uh, so in in order to to give g familiarize you with the idea of SS2QP, uh, let me first uh, define a state space model uh, in in um, in this uh, in the command window. Um, we have here now, as we can see, we have a uh, our A matrix, which is uh, we have two states. And uh, our B matrix is uh, two by one, so we have one input variable, and one control variable. And once this is defined, um, we can have a look at uh, how to define the uh, control uh, parameters or the control weights and all the things that are associated with the control aspect of this model. Um, as you can see here, we define the weights on the state Q, the weights on the input R, the terminal weight which is in our case the solution of the Riccati equation to ensure stability. We have the minimum and the maximum of the states and the minimum and the maximum of the input. Now note that POP um, does put limits which um, by default are 10 to the 7 um, on uh, any uh, optimization variables in order to ensure boundedness of uh, the solution. So um, in any case it's they are assumed to be high enough so not so as not to impact the control performance in case you choose to have an unconstrained control variable. The OH denotes the output horizon and the NC is the control horizon. Both of them are set to 2 for this example right here. Now once we have defined this, we simply call the SS2QP function um, like this. It's very straightforward. We press enter and we get the output. Now, MPV, this is the um, this is the the structured array that will be given to Pop to solve the problem. Note that it does not have intentionally the uh, a parameter space because the parameter space might be different from the limits, for instance, you put on the states. Um, uh, and also other parameters that you might have. We will look at this later on. Um, so this is the element, the MPV, which you will uh, be giving to POP. The second output on line is the corresponding online formulation if you would like to solve the online MPC problem. It also features a couple of very interesting statistics, um, the number of parameters, the, num the names of the parameters in terms of the um, nomenclature. So for instance, if you have disturbances, if you have um, uh, set points and all these things, they will all appear here in the number names of the variables and um, the names of the free variables, or in, in uh, you can call them optimization variables, um, and all these things. Now, in order to go on, let's just define the um, the bounds of the parameter space for MPV, uh, and we will use again the bounds to constraint function, and we will use the minimum and the maximum of the um, state variables. Now we, we enter this and now we have our MPV which as you can see has all the uh, things we need to, to be able to solve it in POP and now let's just quickly do that. Um, and we can just now here solve the problem. It's five, five critical regions and we um, can look quickly at the solution which looks like this. Uh, it's very straightforward. Um, equivalently, you can of course do the same thing uh, solving the same problem um, with uh, the MPT toolbox. So uh, to show you uh, how this is done, you can just put MPT here and you will get the same result um, from the MPT solution. Just to show you that um, we're, um, it is ha equ equivalently has the same functionality as the pop toolbox. The MPT toolbox just allows you also to manip manipulate things much easier within MATLAB. 
once um, this is done, so this is the general um, way SS2QP works. Um, however, it has much, much more functionalities. Now let's look at the um, uh, user manual for that. So uh, this is the user manual of the SS2QP function. Um, you can see it's quite uh, substantially uh, substantial. Um, it gives you some definitions. Uh, and then later on, you can see how the different things are defined. Uh, in general, this is the table you will be interested in because it defines all the fields that you can have. You can have weights for the tracked output. You can have a penalty coefficient to for the output constraints. You can bounds on the y min and y max. Uh, you can have disturbances. Um, you can have um, uh, define uh, blocked um, move blocking and all these things. So this is a very complete tool, and we are cur currently working on providing equivalently to POP, also for SS2QP, a graphical user interface that will make the use of this uh, more user friendly. It also gives you information on how to uh, what what happens within the um, with the output, and it also features a lot of examples that you can use example code um, to just uh, use this the software uh, and different uh, aspects of it this is it and um, if you have any questions regarding SS2QP um, or its integration within POP if you would like to have any functionalities implemented in um, for, for this aspect of of our toolbox then uh, please let us know uh, in the email address pop.toolbox at gmail.com or in the comment section of this video.